the cross is our redemption jesus has accomplished many things on the cross and it's god's best idea toward us what jesus has done through the cross is also to redeem us galatians 3 verses 13 and 14 christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law having become a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree Christ Jesus rescued us and he redeemed us he bought us back as he paid his own life as a ransom a ransom is paid to set captives free uh, a ransom is paid to redeem or buy back prisoners or captives and in our case because of sin we were captives but praise god for the lord jesus he paid his own self his own body um uh, he gave us a sacrifice he shed his own blood and he restored us he redeemed us and he bought us back uh, from from the paths of darkness and now restored us back um, with all authority as it was intended when god first created man and woman to rule and reign on the earth but in these verses we also read that jesus christ has redeemed us from uh, the curse of the law and so today you know, one of the truths uh, that that i want to bring to us is the fact that the curse of the law is not valid in our lives the blessings of abraham the blessings of the cross are what are valid in our lives and so as believers you know, we we have been set free from every curse and we've got to pursue the the blessings of god and 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 walk in them live in them glorify god with those blessings i'm going to enlist for us some of the blessings of abraham uh the blessings of abraham include righteousness by faith god accounted righteousness to abraham because he believed and today because we believe in the lord jesus christ we are made righteous uh friendship with god that's something abraham enjoyed and today we can have that intimate relationship with the lord jesus christ because uh he took upon himself every curse of the law victory over the enemies now this is another blessing of abraham god gave abraham a victory ab- over all his enemies uh, and and we too can enjoy that in our lives prosperity in the land you know uh, scriptures tell us that god wants us to prosper in all things even as our soul prospers and, and so we we should be prospering in our health but we, we should be prospering uh, in the land and doing well for the glory of god and that blessing has already been granted to us another blessing of abraham is financial blessing uh, and today we too can trust god god uh, to to teach us how to steward the resources how to steward the finances uh, to to bring about you know multiplication uh, in our very lives and so all of this is possible only because of the cross and the cross has reversed every curse over our lives uh, isn't that such great news isn't that such a such a freeing truth to know that today we can walk in the blessings that god has for us and god wants to see us enjoy those blessings because he paid such a big price through his own son jesus christ let's pray together heavenly father we worship you oh god for being so good toward us oh god father we thank you for the cross lord the cross is the greatest gesture of love toward us god and this day father we receive that love lord i pray those who do not know your love that by the holy spirit of god lord that you you will show them what jesus has done for them father lord even as they receive you i thank you lord for the freedom that is coming upon their lives i thank you for salvation god that people are receiving in their lives and god i pray this day that uh, every single believer oh god will contend for the blessings because the blessings are are ours and Jesus Jesus has reversed every curse that we can walk in the blessings of almighty God. We give you thanks, we give you praise in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 